All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Roko. Uh, I want to tell you, um, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back to streaming and playing some video games. Uh, I took some time off for a while now. Uh, each needed to organize things in my life, get things back in order. But right now, I'm glad I made some time to to stream and play some games with uh, with y'all. Uh, I'm gonna thanks for being here, and I'm glad to be back. Man, it's been a while. Ooh. I think completely uh, almost about a month. So yeah, um, I'm so I was like excited. Luckily, I had to find the time. I found the time to uh, uh, stream and play some games, which I love doing all the time. That's what I did. I went like all out during the summer. But <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. Thank everyone for who, uh, uh, who's tuning to the stream, and I'm also I'm glad to be uploading more uh, more videos to my channels uh, soon. Uh, missed those and yeah today we're playing playing uh uh the walking dead the telltale definitive series so it was something something new i think the last uh yeah last game i played was also choice driven but i'm also, I'm also excited to play this game too and uh you know i want to thank you all for being here so we could enjoy this together all right let's get right into it let's go All right. All right, here we go. Let's just check, make sure everything's in order. Subtitles, just brightness. That's good because I want to also have the little scary horror effect. Not too much brightness, but not too much darkness. I'm gonna split it down the middle. Okay. All right. So I'll get season select. Up. Start off with season one. Oh, okay, okay. I have the whole season. All right, season one. Okay, we go. Easy. Easy enough. Good. Oh, it's good. Gameplay. Let's see. Subtitles. Detect selectables. Store notifications. Show rec show button. Let's play it all on just in case. We'll we'll see how it is. Uh, graphics, graphic black. Mm. Nah, it looks like graphic black looks good. It looks good. Okay, apply. I think we're all good. Okay, nope. Play. Okay, choose a. Display its uh, style. Uh, stand, you got standard, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Uh, so this is gives an example, right? Like that. Uh, minimum, minimum. Oh, it just hides it. Okay. Uh, let's go with standard. Okay, here we go. The Walking Dead, Telltale, the Telltale series, episode one, a new day. Let's get it. Yeah, I may have to make some like separate videos because this this game is an epis episodic series. Like after you finish with episode one, there's two. I have to maybe have to, to split it. To you know, of course, uh, dev uh, 
their videos. But uh, yeah, I ha I'm happy to do that. All right, here we go. Telltale presents Skybound Entertainment. Shout out to them and Telltale's and the whole team made the game. No, and everyone involved. The Walking Dead. All right, here we go. So on a new day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hmm. I'll say I'm just about to make a choice. Doesn't matter, you know, that's the reckoning. Why do you say that? Hmm. I reckon I didn't do it. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Silence about after oh yeah, give it that was that's a choice too. And what do you say? And what is? And what do you say? I say yep. I know you didn't. You're the right stick to take a look around. All right. Now aim the target at the rear view mirror. Let's look around. Our right, backup cop car. Okay, here we go. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. I think so. You got an opinion, Make a boy? You're from making then. Hmm. Let's see. You're from making. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the '70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. But with all due respect. Real shame that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't got a choice. I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. What the, the fuck? Hmm. Fuck. I was. I put fuck you, but uh, I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Damn. Don't go. Don't go all digging my life. I just met you. All right. Radio. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I really mean. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Hmm. Did he do it? Or did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Then he actually believed it himself. 
it goes to show people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more. Oh shit, watch the road! I do say so. Oh, Oh shit, that sounds so good. Use the right stick to look around and find a way out of the car. Damn, got myself in a jam here. Stupid ass. God damn, stupid. Stupid ass cop didn't look, the, look in the road. Eyes on the road, bro. Oh, wait, shotgun. Damn. That's his, own, that's his own damn fault. Pay attention to the road, bro. All right, I gotta get out of here. Uh, uh, cuffs. Alright, no way. Those are tight. Get out of here. Get my ass out of here. Come on. One more, one more kick. There we go. Alright. Move towards the window. Use the left stick. Get out of here. Cause when I heard the sound of that crash and that's on the outside, then it sounds so good. Oh, damn! Oof. The stick to move around the car. Come on. Still got two legs. God damn, the way he's positioned, he like he was like when he crashed, he was tossed out of that car. God damn. God damn. Officer. Damn. Okay, let's look. Oh, can I? The officer's shotgun is over there. Let me see. Can I pick it up? <laughs> Got it. Yes. Looks empty. That damn would be easier to carry. Alright. Oh, shotgun show. Said the shotgun was empty. Okay, there you go. Okay. I need these cuffs off so I can carry the shotgun. So at least put the the shell in the gun. Looks empty. Yeah, oh, okay. Be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Actually, I thought I could put the shell because I already picked it up. But I have to get these cuffs off first. Let's look around. It's gotta be the key's gotta be on the cop. Let's see. Yo, you what? Ah, oh, do. Okay, there we go. Just keys. Shit. Shit. Get these damn cuffs off. Okay. 
There we go. Bro, you what? Right? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Gun! Come on. Get him, put it in. Shit. Holy fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Don't make me do this. Right back at the fuck. Shit. Damn. So I was, so I was hit like a fucking, fucking skull off. Oh, who's that? Help! Go get someone! Who's that? There's been a shooting! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah, go towards that. Get the fuck get the fuck away from me. Clearly I saw somebody. They ran off. Hello? Anybody? Okay, at least I'm not being turn I'm not gonna turn into the car. I'm not being eaten. Um uh, salmon tea set? Teacups with some bourbon, if I could. That does sound good. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Help! Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. I guess it's empty. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Okay. Check inside the house. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's check. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not 
not an intruder. You're one of them. These people might be more help than I do. Let's look around. Go get it. It was full of fruit. It's fake day. Damn. Can't understand. Why not have fake food? Just go for the real thing. For real, bro. That's just corny. Have fake food. That's corny as hell. Jesus. Oh. Damn. It's still slippery. That'll be dry right now. Right, let's look around the kitchen. Please, something. Need something to eat. That beep it. Cup of water? Yeah, finally. That's good. That's good. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Hope not. Let's see. There are three new messages. I know walkie talkie, I think. Radio. Oh, I didn't look at the top shows. Must be this answering machine. There's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before you have spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just... Leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. No, the fam. The fam. Huh? Oh, okay. Got something. Hello? You need to be quiet. Is the girl. I'm sick. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are you? 
your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside of my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, fuck. Shit. No, you don't! Get the fuck off! Oh, shit. Away! Back away! Damn. Back off! Wait. Oh, shit. Get off. Okay. Oh, good. Need that. Give me the hammer. Get off, bitch! Get the hammer. Crack your fucking skull. Again. Come on. One more time. Oh, shit. Got the heart pumping. through this yeah I want my parents to come home now I think that might be a little while you know Damn. oh look I don't know what happened but I'll look after you till then what should we do now no help before it gets dark you out here once the sun goes down uh that was Look for help before it gets dark. That's a smart move because God knows what those things can do in the nighttime. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah. Let's go. Stay close to me. Let's get up on out of here. Where's the hammer? Oh, right. Oh. Did I leave the hammer? Dread set, dread looking at. Alright, look at the treehouse and tea sets. The gates. I'm going to go around. Can go beyond? Okay, I can, go, can go this way. I thought I could, I thought I could explore more. Alright, let's get that gate open. Oh, got some folks Man. here. I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Man, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Yeah, I'm gonna leave her alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Um, yeah. We're looking for help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. But those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. 
I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. Oh. It should be safe. Okay, there. family farm. Oh, oh. Let's see, just some guy, a neighbor, her babysitter. Babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. You gotta go. Leave him quick. Let's go. All right, come on. Get out of here. Come on. Push. Push all your might. Come on. We need that hog. We need the hog hour. There you go. Put your back into it. That's it? Okay, that's it. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. from those things. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was going to <laughs> No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual the past couple of days. I reckon down the way things his mayor's gone lean, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You brought a couple guests. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a lifesaver. Boy's a lifesaver. lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Might can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Mm. Well, it could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Slee. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, right? Huh. Well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee, just Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Jumping the fence. Running from something? That's you. Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? <laughs> That's nothing bad. Who knows? Plenty. You see, safe now. Safe. You're serious about taking care of me. What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, 
looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone was out there. Oh, she heard a swear. Is that right? Or too much? So you need to fortify your defenses. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Carol, who gets. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Fort's making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like you know. I know her shit. It's too young. First. You know. More like when a horse plops. Just like that. The PG version of you know shit. When newer. My mom and dad. I bet. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Get up. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Babe's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck, dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah. Sure. The more the we know the help. Plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, messing new folks. Uh, let's get to know them. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do? Yeah, check in. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. 
back to normal. It can't stay like this. <laughs> yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind. Families, barbecues, and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, it's the point. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It's a fresh grader. All right, good to know about Clementine. Let's talk to her. You having a nice time with Kachi Clementine? Yeah. Hey, back in a bit. All right. <laughs> talk to them. Let's talk to uh, uh, Kenny. Oh, it's a little truck. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, Kitty. Any help? Need any help? No, oh, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Good. Need that. Need that strong heart. To keep on going, what's going on here? So an interest in his family. All right. What's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See. Okay, the boat is okay. It's a boat, it's a fisherman. That's good. Those things. All right, see what the them two are doing. Okay, go. Okay, there you go. That was stuck. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill. I'm good. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Ooh. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He 
didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. You don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Not again. My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the bar. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn. All right, he's good. Talk to the duck already. Let's check on the cop daddy. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it. Unless that name is no good. How'd you get out of Atlanta? on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family. I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. you agree with that? was brought up to yes where's your family now parents wife girlfriend my parents are in me with my brother well i hope they're all right now you've got this little girl to take care of clementine is it you just stumbled up on her Was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar than fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. Yeah, shut the, the fuck up. People get to questioning Lewis, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! Oh, I'll get my gun! Oh shit. Oh damn, he's stuck. Oh fuck! Uh, for the boys, a little bit more, more vulnerable. Get 
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Now shit ain't friendly. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh. Come on, run, run. I'm standing my ground. Anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Just go. Then just go. Yeah, we're just about to go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. Yeah, she's coming out as bitchy as an asshole. He's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. For real. Holy shit. Suck a bitch. One of them is bitten. Nah, I don't think so. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the fight stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, kick his ass, reason him. him. It's him or it, it, Duck. Now, nah. kick his ass, start throwing a child. We kick his ass. Word. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What 
the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting Get down him. or else. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking no, acting or, like that. Yeah. It. Sit down. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. For real. She's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Hmm. <sighs> now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Get away from me. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Calm down. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Hmm. Sounds like who knows where he's going. You know where you around. Your way around. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Doug, you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. 
Now get him those pills. Oh, Angibar. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm oh, sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? The radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. of this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey, Connie. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Better get back to it. Yep. Uh. Ground. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. Okay, got a battery. Let's give it to Carly for the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. It's two. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> Not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, yes, do it. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. But that gate's closed. It's a combination lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification. 
communication tab over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Chop Walker. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Anything else to look at? No, I that the brick. I can't get the brick. Could be had the keys of that walker. Can't know for sure. Do you think we're safe here? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. We <laughs> ruined it to the Okay. Could be a drugstore player on his employee out there has the keys, but we gotta be hundred percent sure. Talk to Carly already. At NG bar. Oh, let's look around here. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. I'm talking to these folks. We just need to get back to Fort. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? All right. We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duff? We've all been through a lot. I was stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She 
She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. <laughs> Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill Charlie. You think you do when you look back on it. But in the moment, when things are really out of control, you don't might have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Now the energy bar. More. Oh yes, energy bars. Clint. Oh, let's give her. She needs some food. Thank you. Okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clint. I'll see if I can find something else for you. I just, oh, I just gave her an energy bar. So, um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. It's not damaged. This place didn't get looted. I have two energy bars left. Let's give one. Uh, let's come on to the kids. Kids, kids first. Got Clement, took care of Clementine. Let's give it to Duck. Try to get some rest. How can I with those things out? It's not much, but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. You were acting like one girl? Shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. From here. Well, he started it. He was trying to kill the, try to kill the kid for no reason. He wasn't bitten at all. So, yes, y'all started it. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, but it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. The girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. 
well. She's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, no one. I'm nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. Easy okay? family. Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Got one last energy bar left. Nah, we get to them. They're being assholes from the start. It's hard. The farms. The pills are there. Uh, let's see. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, I gave a bar to Clementine, uh, Duck, and his family. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, I can't get it. Okay, I'll just give it to Carly. You know, she helped save this. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and water. You're a good caretaker. <laughs> she gave it to her. I took all she gave her one. Alright. I'll examine the room. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, check everything out. Uh, yeah, let's go inside that office. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Found a photo. Ah, oh, family photo.
Find anything? The oh, fuck. What you doing now, stooping around? What do you mean by that? You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Oh, do we? I'll just keep it to myself. Better. And I gave her an energy bar. Can I, bro, can I get it back? Like she's blackmailing and shit. Blackmailing and shit. Trust you. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. You don't have many other options. Yeah, I know she's like wearing like probably wearing heels. That would have hurt her. Like she like snuck up on me. Shit. Ooh, first aid kit. is a doctor and my dad is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job i uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question all right a little further <sighs> why don't you want to talk about your family do they, like, hate you? Hmm, probably it's complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things were that time. Yeah. Always get that between us. My bad. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. Okay. Things happen, and they didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Wow. Oh. Find your bandage. It's the remote. 
to my dad's TV. Keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. No. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. How about if I press here? How? Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. Okay, well, it's not broken. Alright, there. Let's see. First aid kit. That's what I figured. Let's have a look at that thing. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. All right, good. Uh... Can't get something more from the first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. All right, I think I checked in. TV is no good. Clementine's fingers all vanished up. Uh, I think, yeah, I got a photo. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? So it was complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen and you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Send a group to come get you, all right? Uh, awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of him. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Oh, an energy bar. I can't give it to Doug. I don't think I can eat it myself. I don't think I can eat the energy bar myself. Fuck okay, it, let's give it to him. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. <sighs> the 
have found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Can I not a battery here? I don't think so. I look deep. I got I look high and low. Office. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. So maybe better. I found one. It's gotta be another. Oh, there you go. Battery, not battery. Another. Should be able to get it to work now. Let's get it. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <sighs> Batteries are in. Are they in the correct order? Oh no. Fix that. Okay, I think that should work. Antenna, what's up? As the unknown affliction continues to spread, there we go. Shit. Oh shit, that is Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then right there in the corner of the room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help, but she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. You can't just leave her. Damn right you can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. All right, I guess we're doing this. Damn, it's a bunch of them. Tracks these things. Let's have a look around. 
peek over the wall. Let's stick up. It's a pillow. Okay, take it. Okay, I think I can take. Okay. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. <sighs> we can hide by that RV if we're quiet. And our heads down. Problem. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun. And we can't use that much. Okay, I can't do anything. Of course, I can't do it with the pillow. Just in case, keep it in case. Uh, look to the right. They really want to get into that room. Oh, my truck. Uh, let's see, it's not a truck. There is something there that can get to kill these uh, affected quietly. Uh, just not gonna work. Let's see the pillow. Okay. Oh, smart, nice. That was sick. A little silencer. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. You have to be careful when you ride up on ramps like this. car Ah, spark plug. Let's see if it works. Wait. I didn't see the spark plug. Who said inside these things turns cold and turns to tissue paper? Okay, how it works. Let's see. Okay, let's get the that could scramble a brain pretty good. All right, nice. I was thinking. Now let's go back.
There you go. I was going for the Headley. Quick, quick kill. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Let's get the axe. No more. Should help. Okay, I got more sturdy, sturdy weapon here. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. This, we're coming in. Oh, she's she bitten. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't Damn. want that. It's not I saw what Glenn was going with that. Come with us, we'll get you help. What if you try? Come with us, we'll find you some help. You have a gun, so can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, I don't want to be one of them. Damn. Well, she's damn. She clear. Ish. Well, ish. She is bitten. She doesn't have to. I don't want her to suffer. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Please get to her. Then, you know what? Divine. The shooter. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those. Things. I don't want her to suffer. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. We can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Bless you. Goodbye. I'm here with you. Oof. Damn. You just hearing it gets to you. I think it's for it's for the best. It's a clear I don't want her to turn one of those things. And she suffer along in the process. Just had to do it. Yeah, we had some 
close calls, but Glenn is fine. We'll get. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh, I have an axe option. I wonder. Let me see. Nah, damn it. Can't force my way in. Alright, keys it is. Let's go. Of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first hand accounts. You do radio, that's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. You okay? I'm fine. All right, then we don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. No oh, your concern. Uh, let's talk to Glenn. It says he's back. Give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? <sighs> she was dead. Yeah, she was dead anyway. She had she was bitten. She was dead anyway, all good enough like that. It was over for. Her. You better hope you're never bitten, then. No shit. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I I forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feel, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Okay, that worked. I 
not searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. That guy His brother. Really yeah. Keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long. All right, time to smash it. It's the only option. Okay, there we go. Now to distract those things. I think. Okay, bitch. I think there's yeah a brick. Smash TV store. Oh, there's a broski over there. my moment over here Doug Killing Lee right inside of him. Damn, in order to survive, I gotta kill your own. You get to kill his own brother. Why are you paying attention to me now? You get your TVs.
got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Ah, oh, shit. All these effective motherfuckers coming all around the streets. Gathering yeah, around. Come on, come on, come to them. Away! Back the fuck off. Oh, shit! That's a scan, not a choice. Rescue choice. Got Doug and Carly. Oh my god. Save Doug or Carly. But she, ah, uh, fuck. I said Carly. She has a gun. Most needed right now. No, oh, fuck. No, Doug! Hey, go, Carly, go to. Fuck, Carly, shoot your gun. Oh, now it's over. Oh, you fucking asshole. Hope it made the right choice. Same Carly. She did have a gun, which would be extremely useful right now. Damn, I thought she could shoot you know, all the zombies and get help, help Doug. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, you know what? 
shit. Ah, Doug's gone. It is what it is. Fuck. can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening here. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And we, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, kid. Got it. Up, Carla. How are you doing, Carla? I'm okay. You know, considering. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I think I liked her too. I'm sure he liked her too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. Me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Because the reason was had a gun. Could have made it, you know? Me too, Carl. I fell. 
and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? Like my daughter? My dad tried to kill us. Her kill me. Tried to kill me so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. The guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, and stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Oh shit. Let's do it. Episode 2 start for help. Alright, so let's look at the, our choices and the percentage balance. Honesty lied to Herschel. Uh, you and 46% of players lied. Who would you who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and 52% of players chose Duck. That's the right choice. Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 47% of players gave her the gun. Who would you save? Dilk or Carly? You and 49% of players chose Carly. Hmm. So it's split between minority choices and majority.
Alright, I think that's the end for episode one. Uh, I think I'll sh I'm gonna stream episode two very tomorrow, and I'll definitely upload the uh, episode, uh, the video and episode to my uh, my channels. So yeah, I'm gonna right now wrap it up right here. I wanna thank everybody who tuned into the stream, and thank everyone for just uh, watching the video. Yeah, thanks for being here. It means a lot to me. Uh, and. And also, yeah, I'm trying to, if you can, um, you could fo follow me on my, all my social medias. There'll be uh, links in the description. And also try to make an affiliate on Twitch. So you can give me a follow there. Much, I'll be much appreciated. I want you, I want you all to have a, a good day. And I'll see you all uh, in the next one. All right. Take care.